I hope everybody's having a great day. Holy Ghost coming in right now. I glorify you today. I had plans on waiting for 10 in the morning because I was going to lay here and fast in God's presence. Um, a very much needed time because like I told y'all, I'm not perfect. And, uh, I'm in an area of not only birthing and exposing uh, for spiritual corruption and spiritual warfare. So I go through warfare. I go through a real life physical warfare, not just a spiritual one, but a physical one, one as well. And whenever you're engaged with birthing the word of God, spiritual warfare, um, trials and tribulations and chastisement and discipline and all that plays a part in God's vessel whenever you become a mouthpiece and being used by the Lord. And I have for a long time, God, like I said, one time God gave me a while back uh, fighting against the flesh and God is, I'm in a new area in my life where I've been, where I have been transitioned from uh, sitting in the house back out into the world. So I'm in a very where I'm battling my flesh. I've been trying to come on, but it's a spirit of confusion that is, has attached itself to me uh, to try to steal God's glory. That's the reason why, like I said once before, I'm not sitting under any leadership right now. And the corrupt religious leaders that I did set up under, they're still trying to uh, use spiritual manipulation to uh, govern over my life and I'm still we're still in the area of powers because this plays such a, a heavy part um, with them trying to have power over me in the name of Jesus today I have God I, I went out of town and, uh, just to get away because um, when God says move I had to move and I did just that and on the way back, I went through, my, my tire blew out on the highway. And by the grace of God, I, I was okay. I made it to my destination and had everything taken care of. Uh, I have been in warfare with some corrupt religious leaders for quite some time who has desired to have power over the anointing that God has upon my life. They meant it for evil, but God meant it for my good. Not just only for my good, but some uh, people that I, that crossed my path and uh, my family who are beginning to seek God's faith. Uh, I don't proclaim to be uh, this highly uh, Bible quoting scripture person. I just walk according. It's something I write in the name of Jesus. So I pray that God just be with me today with this word go forth. Because I feel in the name of Jesus. I feel the spiritual corrupt leaders that I once set up under in the house of Shady Grove, Ernest Burns and Vanessa Burns, who's a very spiritual man manipulator who dabble in the form of wicked witchcraft. Um, very, very well known with the word, but they use the word in the form of witchcraft uh, to control people. And they have been trying to do that for a very long time. Uh, use spiritual manipulation to control me, but this house, this vessel, belongs to El Shaddai. That's why I don't sit up on. That's why I'm not sitting up on anybody, uh, in anybody's congregation up under their leadership because it's, that's idolatry worship. Uh, but once again, I'm still we're still dealing with power, and that's what they desire. They desire to try to use God's anointed as upon my life for power. For high, for elevation to higher leadership in the name of Jesus. Um,
I don't want to move ahead of myself, so y'all just bear with me in the name of Jesus. Because with power comes authority. And that's what, like I said, once, one time, once I said before, we're in a, the nation itself is in a position to where it is shifting leadership and authority around. Um, things is being stirred up in the name of Jesus. Because with power, there comes authority. But what they have failed to understand is they, they have the word but they have, they have not had a divine meet with the Holy Ghost for him to endow revelation into their spirit in the name of Jesus and because they see that the word in God's word is being birthed out of me um, that Jezebel spirit has been trying to manipulate whom they think is inferior to them beneath them in the word but because there's they they lack they have not truly given themselves they are you always hear them say um um come down i'm just a pastor you have to come down and give me your hand you have to give your heart to the lord and you know um confess jesus as your lord and say when they fail to realize the reason why their power and the authority that they have been trying to put over my life has no power because they themselves have not received the salvation of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I glorify you today, God. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for I'm nothing without you in the name of Jesus. Power comes through the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Once you meet, confess your Lord and Savior, out your mouth and believe in your heart that he is Lord and Savior and you are baptized in the Holy Ghost the life will never ever be the same and God, then God will equip you and endow you the power to speak in his name because he says that in Luke 19 that he'll give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and all powers of the enemy and by no means shall nothing hurt you uh, I told y'all the other night, um, I had an encounter with a certain young woman. This is how spiritual wickedness has been running rampant um, throughout society and leading God's people astray. I had an encounter with a certain woman the other night. I was sitting down in the park and you know, um, I left town. I'm just now getting back and before I can even get back and, and get in um, get out of my car and get myself situated here she come walking up in the name of Jesus instantly as I saw it cause when I seen it instantly I didn't I, 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 I didn't feel right I became agitated and a I wasn't angry, but I felt a sense of irritation come upon me. And instead, I just said, I just said it, I just, in my, in my spirit, so like, oh Lord. I just said, help me, Jesus. Because I don't want to miss my opportunity to fellowship with one of God's angels. In the name of Jesus. Because the, the, as she came up, I said, oh, Lord, I knew something wasn't right. And she began to talk to me. And like I said, my spirit wasn't right. And I became, you have some corrupt religious leaders who sit in position, who have learned to move in the spirit in the name of Jesus using a form of spiritual manipulation to control God's vessel, to use them as ventriloquists, to speak and talk. What they want you to do, basically to try to manipulate you to, to have you to do what they want you to do, to orchestrate their um, schemes here on earth. So in other words, they birthed it in the spirit and using vessels to birth it out in the natural. So she began to talk, uh, you know, I told her the other night I seen her and uh, 
she was just on my mind and I sat there and I watched her, you know. And when she finally talked to me, you know, I said, there's a halt in my spirit and God said, well, sometimes God tell you not to mess with stuff, you don't mess with stuff. So we was talking and she came and she's like, you got any change or anything? Um, I said, no, no, she said, first she said, you got some food that I can eat? I said, uh, I said, no, uh, I don't have any food here for you to eat. And I was thinking, it runs through my mind, but it's like I, everything getting me, it just went blank. So we, uh, we was talking and it just wasn't right. I could tell when something foul is not in my step, it's in my presence because I don't act as my usual self. Um, so she could, she was talking, she was like, well, if you got, you got, uh, some change or something, because she had stopped some guys down the road before she came to me and was talking to them. It was like three guys or so, whatever or not. And then she said, um, I was like, no, I don't have anything on me here. Um, and I remember to my mind to think of what I may have had inside the shop to go, to go get her. But something was, something would not let me. No, I'm not going to say nothing. The spirit would not let me. Let me do it. And then she began to talk. Uh, she said, um, she said, I'm from New York. I said, I, I asked, I was like, well, where are you from? And who you staying with? And stuff like that. And she was telling me, you know, uh, you know, she's like, I've been staying down in the park and with my family and friends, but you staying somewhere because your clothes, you had some fresh clothes on. It was a spirit of, 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 of deception in my presence. And so we was talking and she was like, um, all of a sudden she just said, ain't nothing going to hurt you. I said, I know it's nothing that's going to hurt me. Um, and then all of a sudden I just said, you know, um, I just, I'm, I really do not feel like my regular self right now. So I know that there's a, it's a foul spirit in my presence that is trying to manipulate me in the name of Jesus and just move. Uh, I told her. I, I, was, I just felt agitated. And out of my mouth, it just came. You stop letting them use your vessel like that. Because that's the reason why you are going through what you're going through right now. And you're going through a surge of bad luck right now because you are allowing spiritual corrupt leaders to use your vessel. In the name of Jesus. And God told me, had me, the Spirit of the Lord had me say, and your body is going to drop where you are if you continue to allow them to use your vessel. Because our vessel is supposed to be used by the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. And so, we continue on and then, you know, I politely, um, you know, told her to have a nice day. Because I was trying to, I was thinking on my mind, where could, where's the shelter that she can go to? Well, God also had me to tell her that's the reason why you're wandering these streets the way you're wandering these streets right now. Because you're allowing spiritual, corrupt religious leaders to use you. And that's power that they have over her because of the evilness that she has done. So, so evil can only control evil. Um, Evil cannot control whom God has anointed. And they have a heart in them to do God's will. You cannot control them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I glorify you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I glorify you. The enemy don't want this word to go forth. I feel them right now in the name of Jesus. It's a, it's a, a spiritual corrupt, that spiritual corrupt religious that I have set up under. Um, has been using, and people have been allowing them to use their vessels. Basically, it's intercession warriors to 
Tennessee, um, 